Welcome to my hometown. This is San Luis Obispo County. I really believe growing up here shaped me into the person I am today. So I'm excited to show you all around my favorite places from childhood, as well as some places that are even new to me. Time to learn something new. And to start it off, we're going to the most well-known city in our county, San Luis Obispo. No. <laughs> <laughs> No spatial awareness. Where are we going now, Dylan? High Street Deli. Bowie, Bowie. That is hot coffee at 420. All their sandwiches are for 420 because it's on High Street. <laughs> <laughs> Best sandwich in slow. We're gonna grab some, take it on a hike, and eat them at the hike. That's our plan. It might look empty now, but if you show up around 4 o'clock, this place is packed with college kids, all looking for a cheap and delicious meal. We're at Cal Poly, where I went to college. None of this was here. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Their new dorm. I'm in the OG dorm. This is it right here. We were playing basketball here, where I dislocated my shoulder. <laughs> right there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was falling too hard. What was College Dylan like? College Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> same, same me. It's kind of a little shit. Yeah, dude, it was weird. I graduated in three years. So like my first year, I skipped class quite a bit. Then once I got out of the dorms, my work ethic got better. Second year, I kind of started to get my shit together. And then third year, I was on a roll. And this is the Serenity Swing Hike. It's at Cal Poly. And it's about two, three miles. I think it's about three miles. At the top, there's this really nice swing. Overlooks the whole city. Yeah, it was the last hike I did with my childhood dog, Puppy. Oh, Puppy was so old when we did this, I like had to carry her some parts. We would just go back in these mountains. One time we ended so far on these mountains and we couldn't figure out a way down. There's just poison oak everywhere. I will like never forget. He looks at me like dead in the eyes because I was like, Ryan, we're lost. Can't get out. And he's like, Dylan, there's always a way. <laughs> I was like, all right, let's see. Our only way was to go through like bushes of poison oak. <laughs> I got it from like head to toe. And uh, but he was right. There was a way. We're going up to that tree up there. Yeah, right there. Oh. How's it going? Socks are wet. <laughs> I was a little worried to film this series right now just because the weather's been gnarly. I think the coolest part of that, honestly, like the best time to do stuff like this. It just feels alive. Like, dude, it kind of feels like something like in Europe or something. Totally. Like, it's like a mini New Zealand, the baby version of it. <laughs> hey, 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 stay, 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 stay. Come, come. You know that word. Come. Hey, 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 come. He's the leader. Alpha of the group. Dude, I swear in nature, his eyes get so big and he's just like wild. Like, look at, Let's look see. at him. Look at that. All right, don't give me your best booty look. <laughs> you guys are like brothers, dude. It really is like, whatever emotions I'm feeling, he feels amplified. He like literally looks like a feral animal. I think you both do. Do you ever do this with your shoes? What is it? Like when I want to tighten my shoes, when I'm too lazy, I just like pull it and tuck it under the laces. <laughs> Old trick of the trade. I pull them really tight and I stuff it on there. <laughs> I've been doing this since I was like five. <laughs> Jesus, no wonder your ankles are always hurt. All right, Dylan, what would you rate this hike? Difficulty level, let's make it out of four yeah. for no apparent reason. Let's give it like a 3.4 out of four. It's not that hard, but the whole population. Wait, did you just base it out of four? I don't know why. Out of 10? No, it's too many numbers. Remember all the places that you rate, <laughs> it's out of four. <laughs> Oh. Ah. Ah. Woo. And there's two swings. Serenity swings. Yeah, boo. Oh. Oh. Not too hard. Just enough to, just enough to get going. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, wait till you see this. I'm like the ultimate hype man. Best pizza in the world, best sandwich in the yeah, world. Yeah, we'll see. So <laughs> are, you, are you saying these are world class too? No. Okay. For $5, yes. First sandwich. Oh, they didn't cut it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> this is the Heisenberg. Dude, uh, look at that. What, dude, it looks like a burger. Right? <laughs> look at that. My mouth is watering. I, don't even, I can't even fit my mouth around it. No, oh, dude, my, my lips <laughs> just cracked. <laughs> I'm so dehydrated. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god dude this is too big why make a sandwich this big it has an in and out sauce dude my score goes down because i can't fit my mouth around it second sandwich on the list 
That looks like an actual sandwich. This looks like a sandwich. This is called Dutch Punch. I love me some Dutch. Wow, we're selling High Street so hard right now. All right, that's what it looks like. I think I can fit my mouth around this. Oh, dude, my lip actually cracked when I tried to extend it. <laughs> <laughs> can Dylan eat the whole thing? Yeah, that, that looked better. Out of four. Can we go out of 10 for the sandwiches? <laughs> yeah, let's, let's just start going out of 10 on everything. I don't no, know why we started do, with four. This is a solid. Out of, are we out of four out of 10? <laughs> We're out of 10. I, you know what, at this point, I think you just have to go four. Like 3.2. 3.2. But if I'm explaining that in terms like Subway's like probably uh, the tuna, which is the best thing at Subway. You did not just say the tuna. Yeah, that's the, the best oh, Subway sandwich before. I'm gross. Well, that's probably like a two. So this is a 3.2, much better than Subway, just for the bread alone. But if this is $5 or 4.20, that's, this is like a 3.65. Wow, this is lighting up out here. Yeah, dude, it looks sick. Get in here, Brennan. Dude, this is just a bomb. How'd they not cut this in half? Bro? One's getting cinematics. Cinematics. <laughs> Dude, look at this sunset. Oh, wait, how am I not filming this right now? <laughs> Dude, it looks so good. Wow. This is a very Lion King moment, Boogie. Father like son. <laughs> I'm actually in a very sketchy position. If Boogie pushes me, I'm flying downhill. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized that. Bro, what a moment. Oh my god. I was not expecting right? this. It was so gray all day. We almost didn't even shoot this because the weather's been so crazy. But growing up, that never stopped us. When the weather got crazy, we just kept going. And that's when these moments happen. Like, yeah, it's just so special. Slow cows showing off right now. But the thing about here is there really is a ton of hikes. You don't have to come here. You can go do any of the seven or nine sisters. There's just mountains all over. And in the winter, it's just green and beautiful. Most of all this area is named like Mexican or Spanish names. So like I'm from Arroyo Grande, there's Paso Robles, but a lot of people try to say it with a Spanish accent. So it's like Paso Robles, and it's not that. You like <laughs> Americanize all of them. Paso Robles, the Tascadero. It's like, it's very weird, but that's how you say it. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm just looking forward to hiking this thing back in the dark. Yeah. I didn't think about that. It's like quicksand. Oh, my shoes are coming off. Dude, we should have gone the other way. Once we get out of this mud, we're going to the downtown slow farmer's market. It happens every Thursday on Higuera Street at 6 p.m. There's barbecue, live music, and fresh locally grown produce. And we're about to meet up with one of the local farmers from the area, Alan Hayashi, whose family has been selling produce here for generations. If you can tell me like a little bit of the background and how your family started this. Well, uh, started back when my father, uh, my grandfather and my dad was born here in 1926. There was actually a group of Japanese that had migrated and they were all kind of knew each other. The Kabaras. Kabaras. Yeah, we went to school with them Yeah, too. so Kabaras uh, came here and said, hey, this is a pretty is good spot. place to yeah. go come. And so, 40s when the World War II broke out, they got relocated to the internment camps. That was one of the things I just made a talk about my dad. It was very cool about him. Because a lot of them in that generation, they never talked about the bad things mm -hmm. that happened. He he would come back and instead of talking about kind of the injustice maybe that was going on, he he talked about how him and his buddies started a big band. You know, it was never never dwelled on that. During World War II, Japanese Americans were forcibly relocated into internment camps. It was a really dark chapter for the U.S., but hearing stories like Alan's father and how this community stepped in in their time of need is really beautiful and shows the power of this community. Like I said, and me coming here, you know, this is not really a big part of our thing, but we've been doing this for so long. Yeah. I feel like I'm not going to stop because I have a lot of people that come every week. Yeah, it's like my friends. So yeah. I, don't really, I don't really look at them as customers yeah. much anymore. So. Yeah. And to have that in this kind of community is yeah. very neat. No, well, I won't take up any more of your right. time. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate Nut it. Nut butter from Gil. <laughs> Thank you. I was just at the sauna with Gil the other day. <laughs> sauna? Oh, so big sauna guy, Kevin. Big, yeah, sauna, big guy. sauna guy. This is Kevin Kim and Eric Simon, two of my closest friends growing up. I bumped into them, so we're gonna grab some food, walk around, Three, help tell the story. Two, oh! yeah! 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 So we walked through, there's a lot of good food options, but I'm craving Firestone tri-tips. This is like where I tell everybody to go. 
All right, Brandon, you're the official taste tester since we're both biased. First bite, do the Santa Maria. So as a kid, I would come here for the pulled pork. I think it might be better, but this is just classic for the area. World yeah. class? It's world class. This one actually yeah. might be world class. Yeah. Actually, it could be. Yeah. Just because it's a California That's good, thing. right? <laughs> <laughs> Let me get one bite for, for uh, nostalgia's sake. By <laughs> far. I'm eating like a meat sandwich and I feel like I'm eating like a donut. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Soft. There you go. Soft. I'm gonna give this a 9.4. Oh, that's good. Yeah. No question. <laughs> this one does like taste like a donut. Actually, <laughs> now that you said that. They have good salads too. Boring people like us. Alright, where are we? Oh, we're at Night Creamery. You're really selling us on it. I, it's just super creamy. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. He's a world class. It's one class. <laughs> <laughs> What's different about it than normal ice cream? So we make it with <laughs> Cool. It's like the creamiest ice cream ever, Brad. <laughs> it's, it's super creamy. <laughs> All right, creamiest bite in the world. It's thick. It's thick. Thick and creamy, right? Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Dude, these skills. It's crazy. It's almost world class. Dense and creamy. I can say this is the densest ice cream. Ever. Oh, this one's not as dense. Yeah, that's way better. And it's softer too. Oh, is it? It's very soft. So creamy. <laughs> Oh yeah, that one's definitely better. That one's way better. It's like Hershey's like syrup, dude. Like even ice cream. This is... <laughs> dude, Brandon's gonna stay the night here. It's done. It's, it. it's, it's officially it's world class. Still. In the next episode, we head up to Morro Bay in Paso Robles, where I take a wine tour with my little sister, Olivia. Well, Henry doesn't care for you. And if that sounds like a bad idea, well, it was. <laughs> Whoa!